Hi, it's Casey Wilson here, naturopath and nutritionist from My Health, My Happiness. Now today I'm really excited to be joined by Dr. Nat Kringudis uh, from, for, as part of her PCOS tour, debunking PCOS tour. Now Nat is a doctor of Chinese medicine, she's an acupuncturist and full of passion to help women improve their hormonal health. Based in Melbourne, Dr. Nat's um, clinic, the Pagoda Tree, specialises in women's health and particularly fertility. Now Nat is also a um, presenter around Australia talking about health issues and I was lucky enough to speak alongside her in the Adelaide to feed your soul event this year. She's also co-host and producer of the web series Health Talks. She's co-author of Eat Fat Be Thin and author of um, Fertilise Lean and Fertilise Yourself. Yes, yourself. <laughs> Lots there. So welcome to Adelaide now. Thank really excited you. to have you here. Thank you so much. Now we're going to start with, I wanted you to paint us a picture of what true hormonal balance looks like for a woman who's still um, cycling. Sure. So here's the thing, and this is what I talk a lot about, is that fertility isn't just about babies. Fertility is having a thriving reproductive system, having a regular menstrual cycle, free of any issues. So no PMS, no pain, no ovulation pain, no any symptoms really. It should be symptom free. We've accepted that pain or suffering mm -hmm. during the period is normal, yeah. um, and it's, it's not supposed to be there. So whilst it's normal, it's because collectively we're experiencing all sorts of signs and symptoms. So it's something that's free of all of these things and to be hormonally balanced. Um, you know, your hormones are the messages that your body sends the rest of your body of how to communicate. So it's, it's so much more than just having a period. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And that's not something that we see commonly come into clinic is a woman like that. So it's really important that, um, you know, you guys follow along that because she's got so much good information. Now, when we're looking at, say, um, period pain, what do you find are real main contributors to these hormone symptoms? Yeah, period pain's a good one. Um, I find that it's the, the, especially the lifestyle we're living, it's so fast-paced, it's so full of stress. And, you know, you say to patients, are you stressed? They're like, no, not really. And, you know, that's just not a true answer because who's not? You know, we don't even realise that listening to traffic is stressful or catching an aeroplane is stressful. And these are things that we do every day in our everyday life. So stress absolutely contributes to that. And any woman who's been on a holiday um, and had a pain-free period comes back to me and says, oh, I had an amazing, you know, pain-free period. And I'm like, oh, because you weren't stressed out and rushing to one place to the next. And, yeah, so um, stress is a big one. And then obviously diet is really big as well. You know, all these inflammatory foods that have made our way into normal diet mm. um, aren't doing our reproductive organs any assistance. So, you know, your sugars, anything that's inflammatory like gluten, those things really, really fire the body up and contribute to pain. So they're probably the two simple things that I say to people that they can do in their own home. And then, you know, failing those things working, well, there's a deeper issue. They need to come and see someone like you or me that can actually come and nut through and work out, pinpoint what's actually going on. Yeah. Exactly. And what sort of um, treatments do you find most successful in realising hormones when they use acupuncture? Yes, I'm a massive fan of acupuncture because it's like 45 minutes of forced I have to lie, yeah. I can't run a marathon whilst I've got needles in me. Um, so I, especially acupuncture in Chinese, also herbal medicine and supplements. Because um, our, our, our um, food just isn't offering us the nourishment that we necessarily need. Um, and this is why we need to come back to basics. You know, your organic food is so much more nutrient dense. So those foods that are whole foods, you know, moving away from anything that's in a packet, those sorts of things, it's all the things that you need to do in your own home because I'm not responsible for what someone puts in their mouth. They need to take responsibility for that. So it's all good and well for us to stand up here and go, hey, you've got to do all this stuff. But if you don't give people tools to go away with, um, like recipes, so that's you know why, why we do things like write books or create blogs, so that people have tools to take away and be able to implement. So, yeah, that's why I, I definitely think it's, it's oh, you know, there's so much, there's so much. <laughs> that's great.